Hi, welcome to my first application, Savenge Trav. This application is designed to um, do a full, complete travis adjustment for closed travises. It will also carry out the nece necessary calculations to work out an open travis as well. Okay, what you're seeing here on your on, on this video is what you see on your, your phone home screen. At the bottom here, you've got some buttons here. This is basically the introduction. It's the same as what's on Google Play. Um, this is this is the instructions. This is a full set of instructions here. Um, so if I do miss anything in this video, if you have a look at this, you'll just uh, pick up on anything that I've missed. This is some examples here. So we're going to have a look at these first. OK, this is a clockwise traverse, also known as plus CW in the application. So we need to remember this little bit here. Um, with a clockwise traverse, we're, me we're measuring the external angles here. Um, and we're going around in a clockwise fashion. The thing to note about this traverse for the application is is, um, is the numbering. Even though your stations might have names or, or you might have numbered them some sort of sequence, um, you need to just pencil in over the top of them that your opening station is zero station and it goes from zero, one, two, and three back to closing. Um, it, obviously, if you've got more than three, it's going to be whatever your last station is, is uh, your closing angle. So just for, just an example here, it's, it's zero, one, two, and three for closing. OK, and the other thing to remember is um, is your, your bearing that goes from your, your opening station. It, it goes from your opening station to your known point or to your reference object. It goes from here to the reference object. OK. And uh, this is the anti-clockwise version of what we've just seen here. Um, this is known in the application as minus CW. So we have to remember that as well. And this time we're measuring the internal angles and we're going anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. And again, this we've numbered from here, 0, 1, 2, and 3 for closing. OK, we'll just have a look at the next one. OK, this, this is another closed traverse, but this time we've got the bearing that's obtained from within the traverse loop. And um, for this, this type of traverse here, our closing angle has got to equal our opening angle because the, the application does require a, um, a closing angle. So all you do is for this type of traverse, you just re-enter re your, your opening angle as your closing angle. And again, we're going 0, 1, 2, and 3 for closing. OK, let's have a quick look at the next one. This is the uh, counterclockwise or anticlockwise version of what we just looked at here. Um, again, you, the, tra the bearings actually obtained from within the traverse loop. And we're going from here, 0, 1, 2, 3 for closing. Um, and then we're going to have a look at the next one. This is an open traverse here. There's not really much to say about this. This is all dealt with on with on one page in the application here. Even though we've got zero here, one and two, you'd enter for, for the total amount of stations, you'd enter one, two, three stations in for this one here. Okay, so if we go to the home page now, we're gonna go straight into it here. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna put three stations in for this. And then we're going to do the bearing. I'm just these, these are going to be totally arbitrary coordinates. Um, I'm going to put 12 seconds and 37. Sorry, 12 minutes 37 seconds. I'm going to go one, two, three, point four, five, six. Oh God, look at that! Missed out the point. One, two, three, point four, five, six. Northern seven, eight. 9.123 observed opening angle I'm going to go 159 26 and 37 okay that I'm going to put a distance of 100 meters in okay um, these these uh, this opening station data here we can actually save this so if I clear it I can call it back up. I can use that again for a later date if I need to. It's, it's always going to be there until I clear it and put in um, new data. Again, everything I've just done there is just off the top of my head. So everything's going to be rubbish output, but it will give you a good idea of how the application works. Okay, I'm just going to count that. Usual survey, Travis data, whole circle bearing there. Your eastern and your northern to your, to your uh, station one. 
okay so now we're just going to go straight to the observed data go to ob observe that so there it is there and on this page here we've got the Travis type if I was to put open there the direction would disappear and then uh, all you do is just enter all, all your observed distances and angles on this on this page here you wouldn't need to move from this page you, your data will be displayed there then you can print it out to have a look at it from there on but we're doing a closed traverse remember we're going in a clockwise fashion now this is where those those clockwise and anti-clockwise comes into play here we're doing clockwise we're going to do three stations I'm just going to enter arbitrary distances to six served angle of um, 260 37 48 okay that and a calc now it says include the, include the closing angle there because I only had three stations it, it knows that I'm on the second to last station so I'm on the station just before I enter the closing closing angle now so just gonna okay that gonna put a distance in um, one, one, zero, hundred and ten. Going to go uh, one, six, seven. There it is. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Closing angle. Two, six, oh. Twenty-seven. Twenty-six. Thirty-seven. Okay, that. And then count, count. Okay. There we go. There's the east ins and north ins to finish up with. Um, there's the misclosure. East ins and north mis misclosure. Obviously, it's to be expected because of the data that I put to, put in. This is the important part for this little bit here. There's the theoretical angle. That that's that's what the uh, some of the external angles should have added up to for these for these uh, for the amount of stations that we add in there. But there's our observed angle total there. That's the angle of misclosure there. And this is the angular correction that's got to be applied to make that there equal that there. And that's what we'll do next. But first of all, we'll just have a look at the print page. So there's the raw coordinates or the unadjusted coordinates. You can um, use the device share function to either send that out to yourself via email or text, or you could even send it, uh, Bluetooth it to a computer as a HTML page. Okay, let's just go back, go to angle adjust. Okay, number two is already loaded into there. Okay, we don't use number one because we just don't need it. So we're going to recall it, we're going to adjust it, and we're going to go calc. And then we're going to do the rest of them because we, that's, there's only, there was only three anyway. Adjust and calc. Okay, now the, this is this is the adjusted angles after we've balanced. Uh, sorry, this is the adjusted coordinates here, misclosure after we've uh, adjusted adjusted the um, angle so we balance the angles then we've adjusted the coordinates to suit okay so if we look here it's made made the uh, misclosure a little bit better but not too much but the most important part on here is that the angular misclosure here matches the theoretical angular angles here so we've uh, balanced the angles and it all works now if we go here print and there's the precision there it's, that's to be expected terrible and again you can uh, use your devices share function to send this out I'm going to go back I'm going to make this misclosure better now by applying the Bowditch correction rule go to, go to here first set of coordinates already loaded in don't need to do anything else apart from go correct now that's that's corrected now I'm going to call up the next one correct call up the next one correct and there we go if you remember these are the coordinates that we put in to start with 123.456789.123 if we go print there we go there's the coordinates all now adjusted via the Bowditch correction rule and where from where the angles have been balanced so if we go back go back go back go back again and there we go same coordinates there and that's it that's a full Travis adjustment um, to any amount of stations that you want to put into this application. The application is available on Google Play and Amazon App Store. Thank you very much.